The COVID-19 pandemic has shown that relying on a few companies to supply global public goods is limiting and dangerous. To boost manufacturing, WHO has continued to call for the sharing of know-how, technology, and licenses, and the waiving of intellectual property rights. Enhancing local production of health products has been an area of focus for WHO for several years, but the pandemic has brought it into even sharper focus. In April, WHO issued a call for expressions of interest to establish technology transfer hubs for COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Tech transfer hubs are training facilities where manufacturers from low and lower middle income countries can receive training in how to produce certain vaccines and the relevant licenses to do so. mRNA technology has been in development for decades and is the basis for at least two safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines. It's potentially easier to scale than other vaccine technologies and could be faster and easier to adapt to variants of concern. Today, I'm delighted to announce that WHO is in discussions with a consortium of companies and institutions to establish a technology transfer hub in South Africa. WHO is facilitating this effort by establishing the criteria for the technology transfer, assessing the applications, developing standards, and providing ongoing support and training. This is an important step that will yield results in the medium term. In the short term, we need to do everything possible to increase the equitable production and distribution of vaccines through COVAX.